Um, so I'm Alex Dunson. Uh, I'm part of the uh, Wikipedia library. Um, we're, we're, we were a grant funded program about 10 months ago and we've since moved into the foundation to kind of scale up what we're doing. Um, and so uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about what the Wikipedia library is, kind of where it started. Um, but also kind of the larger questions that are coming up when we start asking the question, what is a Wikipedia library? Um, and and kind of like what, what thinking about ourselves as a library is kind of forcing us to do, um, and especially as we start to think about applying this to other than English, which is where the grant uh, kind of started us. Um, so Twitter handle, um, you may know me as user sad ads. I've been floating around the education program and GlamWiki community for quite a while as well. Um, so what is the Wikipedia library? Uh, the start was with this crazy idea from Jake Orlowitz, who's our, our project lead, who he, he approached Highbeam and said, I, I, I really, I, I'm, I'm a volunteer, I don't really want to pay for access to your database, uh, but I would really like access. Can you give it to me? I'm a Wikipedia editor. I'll add links to Wikipedia as I use it. And they were like, well, do you have a thousand other friends? Um, thus, the first donation to the Wikipedia library uh, and, and lots of Highbeam accounts across Wikipedia's. Uh, so any volunteer who has a lot of interest in editing in Wikipedia can get Highbeam. And we've kind of scaled that model of approaching publishers and saying, we're with Wikipedia. Uh, we'd be interested in getting our editors access to these things because what they need is the best quality resources, right? Um, and, and ideally, Wikipedians would be all working with open access resources, right? But in the short term, uh, Wikipedia is getting a lot of trust uh, globally, and we need the best content as well, right? We need the best information. And so um, our, our, what we've been doing is contacting publishers, getting donations. We're trying to hit the, the larger publishers that are a little bit more aligned uh, with our kinds of ideas about open access. But it's having some really interesting effects. Uh, for example, our newspapers.com uh, partnership, they have a, 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 they've given us a thousand, or yes, uh, two, 200 accounts, um, but the accounts, when they get access through this paywall, right, something that's, uh, you know, Wikipedians would probably pay $200 a year to get access to if they were using this resource. Um, once, uh, now that they have free access, they can go in and they use a clippings tool where they create open access references that they can uh, reference Wikipedia. So we're, we're arming our editors to the teeth, and, and we're arming our editors to the teeth to try to get open access summaries on Wikipedia as a short-term kind of... Uh, uh, holding pattern for uh, the as the publishing industry moves towards open access, right? But uh, doing this doesn't solve it the way that the professionals have solved it, right? Librarians have been doing this access problem for way, way too much longer than we have. Jake and I come out of other fields. We're interested. Um, and so in kind of talking to librarians at showing up at conferences, we realized, you know, libraries are experienced in giving access to resources, resources and research to, to scholars all the time who are not affiliated with their organizations, um, but have some type of overlapping research interest. And so this is where um, anytime you see square brackets uh, and a WP, that's our English language kind of programs, um, and you can search that on English, and if you, we have, I have Meta before our links on Meta. Um, and so we, we've started this pilot program, and we just wrapped up our first round of what's called a Visiting Scholars model, um, and the idea is, hey, research affiliate, your library has access to thousands of databases. You spend plenty of money lob uh, both purchasing these databases, lobbying for better prices, striking deals with publishers, finding open access resources, put them in your catalog. Why not give that access to a Wikipedian who can do the best thing with that knowledge. Um, and so we have this uh, program, OCLC has been kind of supporting us and thinking about it. And uh, with five pilot hosts, or four pilot hosts, five pilot scholars, uh, Rutgers University, Montana State University, UC Riverside, and George Mason. Um, and it's having a lot of really interesting and unexpected results. Um, so at Rutgers University, we, um, we had two visiting scholars there. That's how we got our five. And uh, 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 both of them have worked with a medical professional um, 
a medical professor who specializes in cultural competency in medicine. Uh, you know, being able to speak to about uh, kind of culturally sensitive topics in medicine, being able to speak language, understand and communicate with people that you're not of the same culture with. And there were no public summarized resources about this. And so as part of our Visiting Scholars program, we asked the libraries to identify kind of their key focus area. And then we asked the Wikipedians to work with that library like, oh, here, uh, what 15 articles would be of importance from this collection? What could we do um, to kind of improve it with the, the specialized resources you have? And so they partnered up with this professor, wrote the article, and is now the best open access resource to explain to medical professionals about uh, this thing. But more importantly, because they're, they're kind of collaborating with the library and they're learning with the library, like what topics do you have specialized resources in that's hard for people to access, they're, they're filling a lot of really neat gaps. And the libraries are beginning to ask questions about their own policies in relationship to Wikipedia, to open access, to what resources they promote and how they promote it. So it's kind of having, it's accidentally turning Wikipedians, who are great content contributors, right, into accidental leaders in a conversation with the university library. Um, and so it's a really kind of neat uh, uh, program, and we're trying to spin it out. So almost all of our programs we're trying to turn into models, right? Partnership model, we, we don't want to be doing it. Um, and so one of the ways we're thinking about spinning it out, at least with the US-based visiting scholars, is giving this to the WikiEd Foundation, um, because they are talking to university libraries regularly. And so this gives them a good tool to enter that conversation and kind of benefit Wikipedians at the same time. But this only solves one problem that librarians often encounter related to research and access, right? It, it's, it's connecting, a, it, both of these are focused on finding resource providers, in this case publishers, libraries, um, open access kind of resources, and connecting them up with the researcher. It's, it's getting that connection. Um, and in the Wikipediaverse, we have a much larger set of research problems. And uh, Jake and I spend a lot of time at library conferences and publisher conferences because that's where we can get these partnerships. And increasingly, we're, we're finding questions um, that we're being asked to answer uh, in, uh, in some way about, well, what, what about you know, getting researchers to put their research on Wikipedia? Um, and, and the community solved a lot of these. What, what about uh, Wikipedia as a discovery platform? How, how does Wikipedia actually communicate these resources to, to our readers? The, the public that most librarians are interested in serving. Um, where are the readers, how do they get back to the resource provider? How do they show back up at their library or get into the, the uh, maybe paywalled access that they might be entitled to through, through a university library or research library that pays for that access? But in clicking on the Wikipedia link, they, they may run into a paywall and get discouraged. How do we ask these questions? And so increasingly the Wikipedia library is trying to think how do we create models, opportunities, take models from the community which can help solve some of these kind of gaps in the research process that's so core to what Wikipedia is, right? It's, it's, it's a research, research uh, information space. And so the first one um, that we've kind of, that's low hanging fruit because we have so many good models in the GLAM community is how do we get good researchers in the library's community um, thinking about their relationship to Wikipedia? Um, and so we were, at these conferences, we were getting tons and tons and tons and tons of questions about how do, like I'm an archivist, I have really specialized materials, how do I get my materials onto Wikipedia? Um, and it, there's a lot of really kind of challenging case studies in the library's world of, it, that are published in journals where some librarian went up and added 400 links uh, to their special collections with no context on English Wikipedia, right? Um, and, and that's not very glam, right? That, that's not very glam wiki. It's not very collaborative. It's not thinking about the Wikipedia community as part of that research process. And so what we did is we took some of these kind of advice that uh, we've been giving since Liam uh, uh, did his first kind of big glam wiki spiels, right? We, we kind of took those and summarized it down for the archivists. So if, on English Wikipedia, if you're interested. And it, this is leading us to a lot of different questions, like how do we get archivists 
to, to uh, how do we get other disciplines like librarians, which are a different kind of way, or special collections curators, or these people that, they have very busy lives, but we bring them in professionally into Wikipedia through, through this kind of discovery work. And I think there's some really interesting models like the New South Wales model that I, uh, we need to communicate and share. And so that's something we'd like to share. We're also wondering how do we cite archives, right? Because if we're gonna make it easy for these archivists or librarians to come in, we need to give them the tool. They love citations. You know, our community loves, uh, researchers love their, their formats and their structures, right? And if we give, uh, give a structure that's reasonable, they'll use it more. Um, and, and so this is something that we're, we're kind of building towards is what if we had an archive, site archives uh, citation template? And we've actually drafted this with the help of OCLC and a, a couple of librarians and we're going to be throwing it out to the English community soon. But the reason these are happening is because we run into these questions all the time. The, the professions want to know how, Wiki, how we can cite archives on Wikipedia. Uh, moreover, how do you encourage librarians to do what they do best, right? So we keep running into these big questions like, I'm a librarian, I'm really good at research, I don't really want to write articles, but I'm really good at research. Um, what about libguides? So I don't know if this is a, a, a only a North American library thing, but uh, in the States and in Canada, we cr uh, librarians often create these things called libguides, which are held by a profit organization that distributes a piece of software um, that is, are basically research guides that open people into, like, if I want to research this field, I'll start at like, these six databases, um, these six resources on the web. And so... What if we made Wikimedia libguides where we could be the research portal for every field and these libraries weren't replicating this effort every single research library all over the world? Um, it, this question has come up in like five conversations and people have suggested starting it. We need help, right? We need someone to address this issue. Similarly, bibliographies, we do some of these on various Wikipedias, create research bibliographies for like the First World War, but what if we gave librarians the tools to enter the community's bibliography practice and did it, and, and consistently they were able to contribute as they do research uh, for their patrons or, or they do research guides. Um, in, in a way too, uh, Asaf uh, told me about Yesterday, Hebrew Wikipedia has a partnership with their national library to man the reference desk on that Wikipedia. What if every Wikipedia had big libraries answering questions for both not only editors, but also readers of Wikipedia? Um, what, a, what a better place for research, right? And, and we're running in, um, and, and we're there's other ways to do this too, and so some of the case studies that are in the libraries community in the US have been these libraries just hiring an intern and saying, do the Wikipedia thing, add links on Wikipedia. It's a really, really terrible practice. It's like link spam, right? It's this idea that, oh, it's just a discovery platform. We're not contributing at all. This has been kind of the fear of the GlamWiki thing, right? Like, if an organization just uses Wikipedia for discovery of their resources, and they're not contributing to the free knowledge mission. So what I've done in this kind of, a, a, a kind of pet project of mine is went away from this, this kind of broken set of case studies, but took the same motivation. Like we have this resource, we have student hires, we have uh, practicum students, we have interns, we have all of the, the, especially in big research libraries, there's always a position or two, partially paid, fully paid, not paid, but it's always educational. It's always the student is there to learn. So I, I modified a version of the education curriculum, education program curriculum, for a self-guided student to learn not only how to edit Wikipedia, because that's what these organizations are interested in, and not only to uh, handle the conflict of interest thing the way GlamWiki is, but also to expose them to the kind of processes and thought patterns that are important to the GlamWiki movement.
you know, thinking about, well, now that I've, um, if I create an article, why don't I uh, highlight all of the different GLAMs that have resources on this item, or all of the best research? Um, and it's actually working really well. These, these university libraries, they already have this resource. They, they, they have students. All they do is they reposition it. And um, one at Oklahoma State, she's written about 15 articles on women that are notable to Oklahoma, uh, really, really important uh, women, and in doing so, highlighting lots of kind of rare regional research materials that really, a, a, on a very notable topic. But she's also discovered that she can collaborate with people in the Wikipedia community. And so she's become a default Wikipedia in residence, um, it, unintentionally, right? The library didn't think they were investing in this big program that's the Wikipedia in residence, right? It's kind of a scary thing. They thought they were investing in an intern. She's organizing edit-a-thons now. Um, I just learned of this a couple days ago. So it, what it's doing is it's, 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 it's taking these natural instincts of libraries and moving them forward. Um, and it's really repeatable. Uh, Baylor University did one intern, then they hired another one without me knowing, and then they, they have five other special collections, and all of those special collections are gonna be hiring them uh, soon. And, and it's something that took me very little outreach. Um, and so we're gonna be spending this off to the education program too, because it's, it's not Wikimedia Foundation scope, but it's definitely a really good kind of case study, right? It's taking this impulse, this instinct we've had across the movement for a long time, and moving it into something that's manageable and that actually meets the values of the community. And so, we want to think about other questions too. So where do we get from the platform, the discovery platform? So in libraries, they have this idea that like discovery hap happens somewhere elsewhere, right? It happens outside the walls of the library and you come to the library to find the research. Um, but in increasingly Wikipedia is becoming that discovery platform, especially with its dominance on Google. Uh, there's a lot of recent studies that show um, uh, students, professors, everyone, starting on Wikipedia to start their research. And how do, we, how do we help that discovery process work for our readers? Um, and so we, we've, um, uh, of course we have the reference desk on English Wikipedia, on Hebrew Wikipedia, we have this. Many Wikipedias do not. Um, so how, how can we share this? How can we make this a better process? How do we get library professionals solving this problem? Um, library schools uh, in the United States and Canada use this thing called Internet Public Library. It's an open public reference desk where you can ask any question and a library school student will come up and do the research and respond. What if we capitalized on this instinct of the whole library profession to do reference desk work and made Wikipedia the reference desk? Uh, the, the actual platform on which we did this reference desk. I think there's a lot of opportunities there. Or more importantly, what if we even anticipate research literacy questions in our interface? And so th this is another thought that uh, has come up in a couple of our conversations. What if we had that reference section with a little question mark and said, like, how do I find these sources? Why? Can you imagine how many readers would turn into editors when they realized that there's a reason we're using the references, it, that there's a process behind it, that there's, a, there's a, a purpose behind it, and more importantly, how many of our readers would show up at their local library asking for these resources, right? Um, what a great, great like, legacy of our reference sections. Um, so there, there's, there's possibilities, and I, I think we need to ask these as a Glam Wiki community where the profession can give us a lot of learning. There's also a lot of learning in how do we get the reader back to the reference, right? Um, uh, right now, a lot of references are paywalled. A lot of references are kind of links break, or, or readers don't realize they have access to something through a research library. Um, and so we're starting to ask questions, and we haven't done a lot of work with this, but it's something that keeps coming up in our conversations with large library organizations. Um, it, 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 of course, we started with our citations and with the stuff we're pushing out through the Wikipedia library. Um, we're encouraging, you know, where is the source coming from with the via uh, parts of the templates, OA buttons, stable external linking. These are all really important things to help our readers get to the sources, right? But there's also a sense that, like, there's sources beyond Wikipedia that our readers never Ne never recognize, because Wikipedia, at least in English and some other languages, it seems so full 
right? It seems so like, oh, it must be researched with the best stuff. In fact, there might be more. And so there was a DPLA developer, uh, or volunteer developer, who created this plugin called DPLApedia, which basically when you're on a Wikipedia article, it searches for things in DPLA records, which is like, it, DPLA is the equivalent of Europeana in the States. And it searches in DPLA records for things that might be related to that article. Um, so discovery of other types of primary sources or secondary sources built into our, our interaction with this. And they, some libraries have deployed this in their computer labs. So what a great way to like get back to the public resources. Um, there's also questions, uh, so uh, we've been talking with OCLC about doing a catalog resolver. So if someone's on a research library's campus, and they're using their internet, typically you'll have access to journals and databases and paywall resources. Um, what if we, uh, you could just click on the resource on Wikipedia and skip the paywall and get access to it directly instead of maybe the getting discouraged by that paywall or by that entry point? So there's a lot of questions like this that are really, really big in the library's world that I think we can learn from and we can capitalize on and there's eager opportunities for partnerships. But more importantly, I think this whole concept of the Wikipedia library asking questions about the research process is something that we should be thinking about globally. That we should be thinking about in each language in its own context. In a way, like research in different communities and different languages and different traditions is radically different. The idea of the library is radically different. But it's the same series of problems answered in different ways. And this is what we're trying to do right now, is we're beginning to roll out branches. And so what we need really is help. So the TWL, OWL calls on you, because you're here, and thinking about libraries in Wikipedia, um, to, to help us find these tools, find these best practices, fill these gaps, disseminate them on English uh, through meta, to places like English Wikipedia where they may not have discovered them or through all of our other global branches that we're in the process of setting up. Help us find these best practices, document them, move them out, experiment with them in different communities. Moreover, help us start a branch because we need more people to be coordinating these conversations. It's not so much that they need to manage every process or do everything, but at least start these questions and conversations. Um, and so if you're interested in starting a branch, uh, come talk. I'd love to share, love to be kind of that pivot point uh, where we share these ideas. And let's collect a team so that um, to solve one of these problems, to move it forward, and of course, communicate with us. And if you go to our meta page, uh, the Wikipedia library, there's a branch setup guide. You can set one up on your own if you would like, or we can mentor you. We have a team of people who've been working on the, the English one and the setup documentation for all these things so that we can start them. We can bring research under one umbrella and kind of ask some of these bigger questions. And so um, if you have any questions, there's my email and tweet at me and whatnot, but, yeah. Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah.